Hello everybody, welcome back to the Quick Take and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Um, I would just like to quickly start this video by saying uh, thank you all so much for the uh, messages and the the outpouring of support. It has been really, um, it's been really tough these past few, these past few days, sorry. Um, and uh, as I said, seeing all your messages, it, it did help uh, quite a lot. Um, and so thank you for that. Uh, Brian was quite a big part of our family. Um, I had him all throughout my teenage years, uh, yeah, so lo lo losing him was, um, losing him was tough, uh, and it was very sudden, and, um, I, anyone who's lost a dog knows how much, how much that hurts, so, uh, as I said, thank you all so much for the support, and, um, I'm gonna be moving, moving swiftly on into the news. Before I continue, I would like to quickly remind you, I am running a giveaway with ownasaber.com, where at 15,000 subscribers, you could be in with a chance at winning the King of London lightsaber, the perfect saber for every Chelsea fan. Three participants will be chosen, and all you have to do to enter is subscribe to the channel and check the pinned comment down below for more information. And with that... On with the video. Chelsea have submitted a new proposal for Corinthians to sign Gabriel Moscardo. No answer will be given until the end of this month due to presidential change in Corinthians. Offer is above 25 million euros. Now, Gabriel Moscardo, although may, people may say we have too many midfielders, listen, Enzo Fernandez, Moises Caicedo, Romeo Lavia, Leslie Ugachukwu, um, Carney Chukameka, uh, Conor Gallagher, players, players like that. We also have players in the academy, players like uh, Cesar Castro, well, he's not in the academy anymore, they're all on loan. Andre Santos, Cesar Caste, those kind of players. To that I say, Gabriel Moscardo actually makes sense because he is a very, very, very good uh, young player. And one thing that we know is a player like Gabriel Moscardo and a player like Cesar Caste, they take a few, uh, take a, se a season or two or three on loan before they start to break it into the Chelsea's uh, main team. And in that time, we can either decide whether he's good enough to start for us, and in that case, we've got a brilliant player on our hands, or if we think he's not as good as Moises Caicedo, or he's not good enough to challenge against the likes of Moises Caicedo and Romeo Lavia, in that case, we'll sell him, and we'll most likely sell him for profit. Gavin Moscardo, when he plays, he plays a lock like Declan Rice in that he's able to position himself in great areas to make interceptions. And then when he wins the ball back, he then runs with it. Either he takes on players and gets past them and progresses the play into an attacking offensive. Or he either makes a sideways pass, not all the time, majority of the time he runs with the ball or he makes a sideways pass into an area which is then uh, less pressured and able to progress the play forward. So he's very smart and, and in, uh, intellectual in that sense of footballing um, IQ. He, he is very ahead of himself in terms of his ability uh, considering his age and ex experience. But he is a great player and one I would like to see Chelsea um, sign in the future. Moving swiftly on, Bayer Leverkusen will only consider a fee of 87.2 million pounds, which is 100 million euros for any deal to be sanctioned for Florian Verts, who has interest from Real Madrid, Liverpool, Bayern Munich, and of course, Chelsea. That is coming in from Team Talk reported by Chelsea HQ. I've gone over Florian Verts multiple times on the channel. In hell, in fact, my last video was a detailed breakdown on Florian Verts and how I think he would change Chelsea's attacking setup and how he would help us break through the dreaded low block that has haunted us for many 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 years now he is a fantastic player he's an excellent talent of course Bayern Munich would be after him German youngster Bundesliga he ticks all the boxes in uh, in, in uh, Bayern Munich's boxes um, so all I would want to say is if we can get Florian Wurz get Florian Wurz he would revol revolutionize Chelsea's attack in a way like we have not seen before he is fantastic he's an he's a creative demon he's a creative god uh, Florian Verts definitely high up on the list for Chelsea to sign come either the summer well it will be the summer transfer window but that is not the only player Chelsea are looking to sign and this is a player who's actually been in the news fairly recently. FC Copenhagen 17-year-old striker Rooney Bargi is attracting interest from Chelsea following his performances this season, which have yielded seven goals in 14 games. Now, as you may know, Rooney Bargi was a player who in fact scored the last-minute winner to make Coffin, uh, FC Copenhagen walk away from the game against Manchester United 4-3, taking all three points in the Champions League group stage, leaving Manchester United at the bottom and on the verge of exiting the Champions League in 
in the group stage, which would be quite funny. Rooney Bargy, great player. Um, he's rather, uh, he's a finishing, he's very clinical in front of goal. His finishing is actually quite good considering his age. We do have a lot of young strikers, of course. Um, I don't know if you want to count players like Nicholas Jackson and Amanda Breuer, but I would consider them fairly young strikers. You've also got Duzan Richards, who is joining the club today. I think he was signed from a Jamaican club. Um, we have uh, David Dutcher Fafana on loan at Union Berlin, who actually did score in the Champions League the other day as well. We also have David Washington, Washington of course, at the club. Not really getting too much minutes, kind of rotting on the bench. He should have gone on loan, but I think we ran out of uh, loan spaces, so he is now... Uh, rotting on the bench unfortunately but what a uh, Rooney Bargy one to keep an eye on other clubs are keeping an eye on him very good uh young striker very uh interesting deal we'll see how that one pans out Chelsea are hoping to welcome Christopher Nkunku back from injury in time to start the Carabao Cup quarterfinal against Newcastle United great news I thought he'll be out for a bit longer than you uh, the knee injury against Dortmund in the preseason was quite frustrating but uh Christopher Nkunku him coming back into the side will be a blessing. I think in a lot of games, Chelsea have struggled to get points um, against or win games or finish off the chances. Could have been solved by the involvement of Christopher Nkunku. He's a great player to have in the attack. I think last season for... Um, either the season, either last season or the season before, he had like over 30 goals and assists in all competitions. He is just an absolute demon um, in terms of output. A brilliant player, a French player, um, which reminds me of the news that will be coming up next, but I'll be getting to that in just a minute. So having Christopher Nkunku back, back into the side will really help us um, get the results that we deserve and not the results that we've been getting recently. Uh, but I did mention French player, and this is quite a bit of interesting news. It's certainly coming out of PSG. Premier League clubs could offer 100 million euros for Paris Saint-Germain's French star Kylian Mbappe in January. That is coming in from Ekrem Conner, who's followed by some reputable sources. Um, and this is coming in from the news that Real Madrid will no longer continue their pursuit for Kylian Mbappe, even though he has six months left on his contract. They are now going to prioritise a move for Jamal Musiala of Bayern Munich, of course, former Chelsea Academy player, but that is another story. As I said, Kylian Mbappe, Chelsea, Liverpool, Manchester United and Newcastle could all offer contract proposals for Kylian Mbappe, who will enter the final six months of his PSG contract in January after reports Real Madrid will not move for the 24-year-old. That is coming in from 442. Now, do we sign Kylian Mbappe or not? The only problem is he doesn't play as a traditional striker, whereas we are after a traditional striker. We're obviously after someone like uh, Victor Osman, and we'll, go, we'll get into that in a minute. But the only problem is I can see with this deal is where he plays. In my opinion, he is best coming off the left-hand side, and that is where Mikhail Mudrik plays. Now, if you were to say... TQT, would you take Mbappe or Madrid today? I would say, give me Mbappe. I'm sorry, Madrid, you got to go. However, Chelsea are a team that are building for the future. And I think Mikhail Madrid will be one of the most important components of that future. He is fantastic. Yes, he had a, yes, he had a rough start to his uh, time at uh, Chelsea. But as uh, some may use this argument, and even he has used this argument along with Pochettino, when Vinicius Jr. first joined Real Madrid, it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows he struggled and then he came good and he became one of the best wingers in the world i think we are going to get that with Mikhail mudrick his pace his finishing ability his two-footed nature his dribbling his link up play it's all there it's just waiting to click into place and we've seen this against i think fulham and we've seen this recently it is starting to click Mikhail mudrick can be one of the best wingers to ever grace the premier league i've said it that is my opinion i may be delusional i may be biased i may be stupid i may be stupid i may be all three however I truly believe Mikhail Mudrik is a player that we can not give up on. I think he's going to be fantastic. There's a reason Arsenal were desperate to sign him. And there's a reason why Arsenal fans were so upset when Chelsea... I think we went to Turkey and signed him because we couldn't obviously can we couldn't do um, negotiations in uh, Ukraine due to the ongoing war. Um, but that's a story for another day. Or is it? The, <laughs> that's coming from CFC Pies, reported by David Ornstein via The Athletic. Um... 
The potential cost for Victor Osman may complicate, let alone if Chelsea don't qualify for the UCL, may complicate a pursuit for Chelsea and others. But he is in the bracket of strikers looked at by all the top clubs. The likes of Lautaro Martinez, Benjamin Sheshko, Ferguson and Boniface get mentioned a lot to me by people who work in recruitment. Now, Lautaro Martinez, as far as I'm aware, he wants to stay at Inter Milan. Uh, Ferguson just signed a brand new contract with Brighton until 2029, I think. And Victor Boniface, I don't see him leaving uh, by by Leverkusen. Uh, yeah, by Leverkusen, he's doing brilliant things under Jabi Alonso, linking up very well with Florian Verts and all that good stuff. So I think he'll stay there. Benjamin Sheshko is an interesting one. I think Benjamin Sheshko, out of all of them, is the most likely to join Chelsea. Uh, apparently, we've been uh, we've been scouting him since 2022. Uh, he's a fantastic player. I've spoken about him to death on the channel, uh, but I'm a big, big, big admirer of Benjamin Sheshko. And if we weren't able to get Victor Osman because we were priced out by Napoli, either in, in the January window or the summer window, Benjamin Sheshko is the guy I would want Chelsea to sign. But that does tie into um, Kylian Mbappe because now towards the tail end of the summer transfer window, the very hectic summer transfer window, there were reports that Chelsea were after Jamal Musiala. And a lot of people thought that this was, uh, this was unbelievable. We couldn't get it done. It was impossible. And then it was reported uh, by Felix Johnson that Chelsea did have a separate superstar budget allocated for Moose for such players like Jamal Musiala, for players like Kylian Mbappe, players that Chelsea deemed uh, Chelsea, players that Chelsea deemed to be world class level. Now, obviously, Kylian Mbappe is world class level, and seeing as he is in the last uh, six months of his contract, he will be going for free at the end of the summer, at the end of the season. Sorry, um, and Real Madrid are no longer interested in him. I can actually see Chelsea going in for him. Um, he gets loads of goals. It's just a positioning that would uh, have me somewhat um, on edge. I don't want to sacrifice Mudrik. If he can play at striker, if he can play at striker and link up with players like Mudrik and link up with players like Christopher and Kunku and, and such, that would be a dream come true. Um, he's incredibly quick. I've always thought he'd do unbelievably well in the Premier League. Just his finishing ability... His feet, I've never seen someone move their feet as quick as Kylian Mbappe in terms of step overs, in terms of skill moves. He is just out of this level fast. It's like you're watching him on two times speed. Um, if we are able to get Mbappe, I say go for it. Uh, but uh, obviously our priority is Victor Osman. And if that fails, then we may look to go after Benjamin Sheshko. But that about wraps up today's news. I don't want to, I don't want to ramble on too long. Um, today is just going to be a news, vid news video going back into the swing of things, getting back into the rhythm of YouTube, uh, following a rough uh, few days, just to say that. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, why not subscribe? Uh, at, uh, I think 15,000 subscribers. I'm, I'm giving away three King of London lightsabers courtesy of ownersaber.com. Uh, we're still a bit away. I think 1,000 a bit subscribers. So keep subscribing. Uh, share this video with your friends. Share the channel. Tell your friends about this channel. Like the video. All that good stuff. I've been the Quick Take and I'll catch you on the next one. See you later.